morning. I'm Taryn. I'm your host on this morning. Good morning, North Coast show on Belito TV. With me today, we've got a jam-packed day full of special guests, which I'm sure you're all going to enjoy. Starting your day with your daily motivation with me is Tony, Tony Subramani, followed by Lynette Pretorius from Austrial Accounting, whereby she'll be highlighting how they've been helping our restaurants in our adjusted level four restrictions. Jenny Holland from Jen's Body and Mind Wellness is here to give us some tips on our health and wellness. Shabna Vermeer from Marigold Indian Restaurant, the beautiful, beautiful, prestigious Indian cuisine restaurant that's opened up in Belito, is here to tell us all about their new manifestation. Siki from Miss Belito is here to tell us about her Miss Belito experience, her, her future aspirations as a future leader. Akit Portgieter is here from Kerway Projects, whereby he'll be explaining what they've been doing in the Belito community. Followed by our food parcel drive with Fabian and, and Andre, an amazing initiative that the restaurants have all jumped in together in order to support their local staff. Our, music, our musical showcase this morning is Rowan Stewart, followed by our weather and surf update. Tony, thank you for being with us here today. Over to you for our daily inspiration. Thank you, Taryn. It's good to be back. Yeah, this morning I just want to touch on a, on a topic or, or an aspect that is very seldom kind of embraced by the people. So I just want to indulge the viewers to, to con consider this topic on forgiveness. Um, as, as you may know that I'm in recovery for a number of years and it's part of my program is about forgiving people and forgiving myself. But forgiveness is very often misunderstood or misinterpreted because it's sometimes people think that it's about letting the person off the hook for whatever has happened and the damage that they've done is minimized, and it's not so. Non-forgiveness is like living in a prison that you've created with the key on the inside of that door. And I want to encourage viewers to actually use this time during the lockdown to look at how they can work through the process of forgiveness and working through self-forgiveness for starters. There are different stages that one goes through, and I must admit that it's not easy, Taryn, when it comes to forgiving someone who's hurt you, who's done, who's said, you know, stuff that has been very harsh and very inhumane to you and been disrespectful. But the reality about it is that it's not about that person anymore. It's about the way you live your life and the message you're giving to your children, your spouse, your family, and your work colleagues. Let's take an example where someone has been bullied in school. And you tend to carry this experience throughout your life if you don't let go. Forgiveness is about letting go and allowing yourself to live a fulfilling life. That is important for you because at the end of the day, it's about what you put out in life that's what you're going to get back. There are many people that tend to hold on to these experiences of the past and they become bitter, they become disillusioned, they become depressed, and it leads to all kinds of challenges with diseases and illnesses as well. So this morning, I want to encourage the viewers to look at how do you use this process of forgiveness, of letting go, not only for yourself, but those that have done harm to you as well. Now, forgiveness is an inside job. It comes from within you and it takes a concerted, determined effort and a commitment to say, I am now willing to forgive. When you get to that point in your life that you're willing to let go and say, this is enough, I've had enough and I'm willing to let go, you release the toxins and the negativity that's attached to those experiences that you've had. And as a result of that, you start to embrace positivity, you start to embrace joy and you embrace this, embrace this old situation of letting go and becoming calm in life. So this morning my message is about all about forgiveness. It's self-forgiveness and forgiving those that have made done harm and done you know some stuff to you that has been unpleasant as well. So that's what I want to share with the viewers this morning, Taryn. Thank you, Tony. Well, I, I most definitely, I know we all battle to forgive. I mean, we all have anger built up with past experiences. And I, I definitely think it is something the viewers can take to them today and, and practice self-forgiveness. And if you can forgive yourself, obviously it, it has a roll-on effect to others in your lives as well, not just positively, but also for their, their positivity in the long run. Well, when we're back, we will be speaking to Lenny Pretorius after the ad break. <laughs>
Life is all about those special moments of feeling empowered and uplifted and feeling great about yourself. Belito TV is so excited to bring you season two of A New You. Alongside our incredible partners, we will take you on a journey of upliftment and empowerment and bring the sunshine back into your life. Send us a photo and a motivation of no more than 150 words of why we should choose you. So hurry up and send them in to a new you at belito.tv. and welcome back to your Good Morning North Coast show. With me in studio, we've got Lynette Pretorius from Austral Accounting. Morning, Lynette, how are you? I'm well and yourself. Well, Thanks thank for having you. me. Thanks for being on our show today. Lynette, tell us a bit more about the background of Austral Accounting. What is it that you guys do? What services do you offer? Well, Austral Accounting uh, actually just had its 30th birthday at the beginning of the year. So we offer small business um, solutions for um, just about anybody that needs tax and accounting and advice. So um, I've been in the business for 24 years and I've grown up in the business like I keep on saying to everybody. And we actually love um, seeing small businesses grow and I love the challenges that everybody faces every day because every day is new and no two days really are the same. So it's a really nice job. Stressful but very nice. Now, I can imagine it must be special, especially now with all the COVID and all the businesses. Yeah. I'm not sure you must have your hands full currently, and I think that's where all of us are very grateful for your service. <laughs> it really is so sad to see our economy taking such a huge hit at the moment. And at the forefront of that is definitely small businesses. Eh? Small businesses are battling, and there's not really much relief out on the horizon, which I suppose it's it's great because it shows that communities are standing together and we'll make it through, we've made it through, do you know what I mean? Um, but it's hard to see um, these small one-man bands, you know, they were just starting to, to get off their feet and now it's like, oh, dead in the water. Yeah, especially, I mean, you work hands-on with them <coughs> and you can see exactly what they're going through and yeah. how painful it is for them to overcome the troubles that oh. we are facing currently. Really and um, Lynette, the UIF turns that have just taken place, can you inform us a bit more about what has happened, what are the implications, are the implications? So yesterday Kusatu came out um, and released some information that the UIF tours will be extended um, for certain industries within um, our economy, so it's hospitality, it is tourism and then the liquor sector. So the liquor stores, um, their staff will be covered by, by UIF again. Um, the problem really is that it still has to be gazetted and that will take some time. And then UIF will have to update all their systems and their application processes. Uh, and then after will we be able to, to submit some, some sort of claim against UIF for the staff. So. There is some hope for staff in these industries, um, but there's not much hope for the business, if that makes sense. You know, there's no, there's no help out there at the moment for these businesses to get 
extra um, help and financial assistance, but at least the staff will get a little bit of money to help them through these hard times. Sure, it's so, it's so, so, so sad. And the turnaround time, more or less, that the staff can wait in order to reap the UIF? Uh, so we're currently looking at at least two weeks for them to promulgate, um, and most probably another week or so for UIF to give us guidelines on how to, to submit our claims. They've had a very large backlog. So, oh, December ones are coming out and it's July now. Wow. So, sure. it is going to take a while. So, please don't get too, too upset and, you know, give your employer a hell. Um, the process will just have to flow, you know. Yeah, and, so you're and they'll do everything they can. The employers really are bending over backwards to get their staff some sort of financial assistance so f to the staff out there just hang hang on we'll we'll get it to you and i suppose that is the most difficult you mean the employer to try and manage those expectations and yet again it's yeah. not in the employer's hands at the end of the day and yeah. the staff are so reliant on on the uf uif and, and their money i mean at the end of the day without that they can't survive and yeah. especially now sham it's, it's it's really 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 sad and the problem then is the the relationship between the employer and employee takes such a damn hit, to be quite honest, you know. Yeah. It's like, I've done all I can, I can't do more, and yet, you know, staff are like, yeah, but you're withholding and you're not doing everything. But in, in real terms, um, the last year I've seen how employers have been with a bone, you know, a dog with a bone, trying to get that money. And unfortunately, the process is just so slow. You know, verification and all of these things, People don't remember that, technically speaking, employers shouldn't be working with UIF. Our job is to deduct the UIF and pay it over. That's, that's the employer's responsibility. But when, when COVID struck, we couldn't send our whole population to the Department of Labor. So the idea was that the employer would then manage it on behalf of their staff. Um, but it's out of the employer's hand. We can only do as much as, as we can going with the system and keep on fighting the system as we go. So it's just asking the staff to be ever so patient and to yes. be grateful for what the employer is doing for them and just to know what is happening behind the scenes in order for them to actually get what is owed to them yeah. in and these difficult really times. Yeah, and it really is so difficult for the employer. And one hey? doesn't see what is happening behind the scenes, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, for me and for the outsiders out there, we don't really know what's happening, what the employers are doing, what you guys are doing in order to help mm. the staff out there who's feeling it the most. Yeah, but it, you know what, all said and done, any challenges that we're facing, at least now you look back and the system didn't exist um, a year ago and we learnt and we did it and we managed it and now you go, okay, well, bring it, we can, we can do it again. <laughs> sure, that's absolutely amazing. And just to show how we can adjust to those times, yeah. no matter how difficult they are, and I suppose with community support as well, it does help our local businesses yeah. if they're lucky with the community backing them as well and does take a bit of relief off of the staff members. Yeah. But it's just for them to remember not to turn violent and not to be yeah. aggressive to the employers that are doing everything they can to help with your guys' assistance yeah. as well. It really is important. So, yeah, that's, that's an important message for for this morning. So there is help on the way. Um, just be patient. The information is a little bit sketchy, do you know what I mean? Um, but the employers will do absolutely everything to get people their, their UIF money. Thank you, Lynette. Well, there you have Pleasure. it. Staff, please be very patient. Your, your employers are doing everything they can. They're working with great teams. You will be getting what is owed to you. Even though we've got a six month delay currently, just have faith and keep positive, you'll get what is owed. Thank you so much, Lynette, for being with us today. We're going to go to slide eight break, and after that, we'll be speaking to Julie Holland from Mind and Body Wellness. Fuya 
jy ook, soos duisende Suid-Afrikaners negatief beinvloed dier die COVID-19 pandemie, huishoudings en bezighede wat grootliks geimpak word hier inperking en die gevolge wat inperking op ons emotionele en financiële levens het. Huishoudings wat minimaal tot geen inkomste verdien het nie, bezighede wat sik. Nou, Power Africa wil graag ons cliënte een last van hulle skouwerslag afval en die vorm van een alternatieve krachtbron. Nou, in die afgelopen paar jaar het ons krachtrekening neer is verdubbel. Ons sit met beerdkracht wat ons hinder om levensstandaarde te kan leef wat ons toch verdien. Nou, om te kwalificeer en om beerdkracht en stijgende elektriciteit rekeninge deel te maak van die verlede, ontak Power Afrika vandag vir ongelooflike promotie, SMS die woord Solar na 4336, ek herhaal SMS die woord Solar na 4336. Hi Belito, I'm Tanya. I'm the lady from So It Seems, Benina in Belito. You can find us in Richard Park, right across from the Hirsch. The new shop, it's three times bigger than the old shop. We have lots more fabric, a lot more haberdashery items. If you can't sew, I will teach you how to sew. I have an additional teacher that helps us sew and we have a fabulous space upstairs. Looking for a Benina machine or a Benet? I will sort you out with that one. In this little area, we do everything. We service the sewing machine, we service the overlocker. We fix it up for you, within a week, you'll have it back. While you go through the pattern books, we have a coffee shop in-house called Buttonless Coffee. You can have a coffee or a snack to eat while you do your pattern searching, fabric searching, or sewing upstairs with us. See you soon. At Tina Teen Scrive Proofs Belito, we offer an array of convenience services for our clients. Our friendly team will take care of your orders from picking to packing and arranging them for your office. We offer delivery to businesses along the north coast to Richards Bay to help you save even more time. Proudly Belito. Welcome back to Good Morning North Coast. With me in studio, we've got Jenny from Body and Mind Wellness. Welcome, Jenny. Hi, morning, Karen. Lovely to be able to be here with you. Thank you for being able to come out and see us this morning. Jenny, give us a bit of a brief background about your business and what it is that it all entails. I am a complementary and holistic healer. I practice Reiki on my clients. And Reiki is a really lovely, relaxing technique that, 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 that I use in, and, and you as, as the recipient just relax on the, 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 the healing bed, you relax totally and by the time I'm finished doing what I've been trained to do, you just find yourself in a better place where you can cope better with everything. I mean, I balance your body's energies 
basic that's 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 it and people don't seem to understand that so what I'd like to show you, you and you can all have a bash at trying is rub your hands rub your hands and make your hands hot rub 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 and make your hands nice and hot and separate them and can you feel them talking to each other oh, you can you feel oh, you do that's the energy you do feel it you can really feel it you should try this at home and you can really yeah so it's, and the closer you come the stronger the energy comes Absolutely and amazing. basically, that is the energy that I work with. So, wow. when I, so anything that is where your energy is out of sync or anything yeah. that, that, that's not working nicely, I put back so that it works nicely. And when you're finished, you just, I don't know, the world's a different place. You see things in a different light. You, I boost your immune system and, and, and I do believe with masks, you are actually compromising your immune system. Sorry. <laughs> we won't say that too loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so, so by the time you've finished a session or sessions with me, there is so much that, 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 that you, would, you are in a better place to achieve because your body and you are made to help heal yourself yourself. I mean, I'm sure you've gone along and stubbed your toe on a piece of furniture and apart from the four-lettered words that you use, which is natural, <laughs> you will sit and hold your toe, cursing, obviously, but just holding your toe, there's the energy. You are actually helping heal your toe. So we all have this healing ability within us. It's just some of us can take it a little bit further, and I'm gifted in the sense that I have always had something like this, and I've just taken it further and thoroughly enjoy what I do. It's so good to hear from you. I mean, I've, I've, I've heard of Reiki. I've never done it. And I've always been so intrigued about it. And especially now, I mean, with all the stressed individuals, people that aren't coping, I, I'm sure it's obviously only got positive effects on them. Very positive effect because you just, as I say, you're in a better place yourself. So you can see what a, how badly you've been coping, but, and you can actually rectify yourself and move on to the next spot and cope an awful, awful lot better. It's, 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 and I, from my side, I love seeing people grow. To me, a person growing is very, very important. And Reiki just puts me in the place where I can see and help you as an individual grow into this beautiful budding person. And, yeah. and would you say it's almost like an instant relief and an instant positive energy? Or is it a process? It's or a process. It's not instant. There is obviously, a, a, it's, you know, you take a tablet for a headache and it goes away. Reiki doesn't work like that. It takes a little while because it's energy and you've got to build up that energy. Um, but yes, you do definitely notice a difference. But the more you have, the, the, the bigger the difference you will actually notice over time. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. And then, Jenny, obviously you've got another side of your business as well with your yes. souls and crystals. Would you like to oh, yes. tell us all about that? <laughs> uh, part, I, I enjoy my crystals. I do my, you do use crystals in my healing as well. Um, I... Um, promotes uh, Himalayan salt lamps because that's also very good for your health mm. and uh, some people enjoy essential oils and I will blend essential oils specifically for your requirements and it's so yes so all in all my practice is just a overall health but complementary health it's not so that's um, your one-stop natural health experience and you can actually have certain packages made up specific to your needs and what it yes. is that you... Yes. That is absolutely amazing, Jenny. Oh, we can't thank you enough. And for your viewers out there, how can they contact you? Where can they find you? I have a healing room at The Circle uh, here in Belita. Okay. Um, and my number. Perfect. You're so welcome you to, have to WhatsApp me on 072-320-9963. Thank you, Jenny. We really appreciate it. It was lovely getting to know you. And I'm sure I'll be using your services. I'm sure there are many people out there that would need to definitely go the natural way. A lot of us, I mean, we're all moving into the naturalistic route. Uh, that's the only way to go, especially now in COVID as well. Thank no, you so thank much you. for your time. We look thank forward you. to seeing you on the show soon again. Lovely. Thank you. After the ad break, we'll be with Shabnam with Marigold Indian Restaurant. <laughs>
Welcome back with me in studio. With me, we've got Shadab from Marigold Belito Restaurant. It's Shabnam. Darren. Excuse me, my apology, Shabnam, ladies and gents. She has got a hidden gem of a restaurant here in Belito. Please tell us all about it. All right, yes, I'm from Marigold Restaurant in Belito. Uh, well, known as the hidden gem of Belito. We try, we're on the show today to change that and make it the home of Belito. Uh, we want to share our beautiful Indian cuisine with everybody. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're here to do. Talk about a restaurant and it's a double story restaurant in Belito. Uh, we, uh, before all these restrictions, it was dinner and dance and paint night and um, quiz night and uh, parties Very and festive. reunions and office functions and, and that's what we offered. Now uh, with COVID uh, a year down the line, obviously we had to reinvent ourselves and we're now concentrating on deliveries. So that's how the public can help us is support us through deliveries so that we can still be there when this is all over for our parties and all our good times. And we really urge the public to support them. It is an amazing and exquisite, beautiful restaurant. Yes. I mean, it's, it's eye-popping. It really is absolutely beautiful. But you do have a bit of a history. You've been in the, in the making for 20 years? Yes, yes. Well, I'm from the legal industry, so I, I actually, this is brand new for me and I've had to reinvent myself. But yes, uh, Pranav Reddy, who's uh, from uh, Impulse Restaurant, well, previously from Impulse Restaurant, uh, they've had this going for a number of years. And so when we met up, we put all this together, the good food, the decor, uh, you know, our mural is wonderful, our ambience, our, you know, when you walk into our restaurant, I, you know, it's, it's, I want everyone to feel that warmth, that almost coming home. And then with home comes good food. So... That's what we've brought, you know, all the ingredients of a wonderful night. We, we want to put that uh, into people's memories, into their hearts, and into their bellies as well with our food. The normal things like fish curry, crab curry, prawn curry, our livers are tops if you go and look at our TikToks. Uh, you can, uh, you know, hear about our, um, our prawns our prawn curry, our prawn grill, uh, you know, we have soji and vermicelli, you know, all these things that Indian homes know about and that we want to now infuse into uh, the culture of Belito and, you know, get, get people involved in these tastes and aromas. We actually are intending to do some cooking classes as well. But right now, obviously, we are open for deliveries. We are on the Mr. D app. Uh, and we are expanding that to Amshlanga as well in the next few weeks. Oh, wow, that is absolutely fantastic. And tell us a bit more, you know, the, the food that we can order now. Is it a select menu? Have you got specials running? So our menu is still there. Uh, we actually uh, customize uh, for home catering as well. So if you want, uh, you know, uh, a party for six, or, you know, you're, you're having dinner with your family and you want to eat our crab curry, uh, we can actually uh, bring it to you. Uh, we can actually customize that menu for you. We'll give you starters, mains, desserts, whatever you want in the comfort of your home. Uh, otherwise, you, there's curbside deliveries, there's Mr. D app. And uh, yeah, we, we're trying to make ourselves more accessible to people, tell people where we're at. We are parallel to the N2 on the same line as Hampshire and uh, Bathroom Bazaar and Shaves. We're on that line there. So just below the gym. Uh, so people who don't know where we're at, we are right here in Belito. Just, you know, you need to find us uh, because we're new. Sure, I mean, it, 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 oh, the menu is absolutely mouth-watering and I know from people, the, the reviews have been absolutely exquisite and positive and you're definitely doing something right in that beautiful restaurant of yours. So ladies and gents, there's absolutely no excuse, as you've heard, not to use their services from catering to your needs, specific to what you want, takeouts, Mr. Delivery. We really have covered the whole entire basis with, with lockdown, which is absolutely fantastic. So you actually are not losing too much yet people obviously can't sit and yes, enjoy. Yes, and you still can get our, our wonderful food on the Mr. D app. So we're, we're still here, guys. We're still here to keep your morals up, to, uh, to make sure you're getting that good food, and then that we're still there when this is over, and we'll all celebrate together. And most definitely follow them after the strict lockdown with the restaurants, after our newly adjusted level four restrictions. They've got paint evenings, they've got occasions, dance evenings. I mean, yeah. it's absolutely so vibrant there. It's, it's, a, it's a place not to miss out on, and it's definitely a restaurant you want to visit. Yeah, and we're always hands-on, and we're there to make sure everybody's happy and well taken care of. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming out to see us today. Thanks, Ladies and gentlemen, really, 
put your orders on on that Mr. Delivery app or go and support them. Food you definitely don't want to miss out on. Thank you. After the break, we'll be back with Siki from Miss Belito. <laughs> Wij willen niet de gas en draai focus ons op ons cliënten. Vriendelijke en doeltreffende dienst is wat ons anders moet doen. Ons werk is een span met integriteit en deerzichtigheid. Hier biedt ons leent een onvergetelijke ervaring en werk ons met die beste belang van ons leent. Ons lever niet producten aan ons leent, nie. ons lever ook volledige dienst, besluiten, onderdelen en technische ondersteuning. and I'm the CEO and founder of the Educational Studio. The Educational Studio started with our private tuition department, which has grown astronomically over the years and evolved into now what we call our alternative learning program, which has become a fundamental pillar of the Belito community. We cater to all children from all walks of life and from all facets of the Belito community. We tailor our learning programs to cater to the individual learner. Visit us to see how we can help improve your child's academic life. Good morning, welcome to the Educational Studio. My name is Joy Hartley. The Educational Studio is an alternative education institution. We cater to the needs of learners who are looking for a different approach to teaching and learning. The Educational Studio offers a structured learning program in a unique, supportive and relaxed environment. Our small class sizes encourage a greater focus on personalised learning and teacher interaction. The Educational Studio offers tuition in both the CAPS curriculum and international curricula for all learners in grades 2 to 12. Please call us today on 032-940-4471. Welcome back with me in studio. We've got the beautiful Siki, Miss Belito finalist. <laughs> Welcome to our studio. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. It's only a pleasure. You are drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> thank you. So are you. Oh, thank you, Siki. Siki, tell me a bit more about yourself. For those of us that don't know you, who are you? Okay, so my full name is Tligiz of Villagazi. Um, I grew up on the sands of Willards and um, Salt Rock Beach. Um, I'm currently doing my second year in film directing and screenwriting at AFTA. And yeah, I'm a freelance model as well. So, yeah. Only freelance? Are you sure you're not freelance. a permanent model? Because you are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
So has modeling always been a thing of yours? How did you get to enter Miss Belito? What was your drive behind Miss Belito? Um, I did start modeling when I was about eight years old for ice models. And then I kind of fell out of it when I was about 15 years old, just because I didn't have time anymore. School was, <laughs> was always there taking up my time. And then this year, it kind of just found its way back to me. Um, Miss Belito is something that I wanted to enter because I was always looking for like a platform to grow myself, not only as an individual, but also the community around me. And I really believe that Miss Belito is kind of the platform that gives you that, um, yeah, the platform to do so. Yeah. To boost you into the community and yeah. just to be someone that the community can look up to and respect and really, yes. you know. And then, um, why have you not entered Miss, B Miss South Africa yet? <laughs> it is one of my future aspirations, one of my big goals. I do plan on doing it after I've completed my degree. I just want to focus on one goal at a time and then keep going. Well, I can definitely tell you this is definitely a name to remember in the future. <laughs> Vicky, your charity, I know it really hits home quite hard and it's something that's quite a big passion of yours. Do you want to tell us a bit more about your charity? Um, okay, so what I want to focus on in my charity is education as a whole and also entrepreneurship. So it is something that I'm passionate about. Nelson Mandela did once say education is one of the most powerful tools to changing the world and that is something that I drive, I try and drive people around me to do, to change the world. So um, through personal experiences I've kind of found that there are still communities out there where there are schools that aren't exposed to career workshops to university talks where the matriculants go out and they still don't know where to even start the application process to join school. So um, what I want to do is implement those programs where they are exposed to different careers, different universities around KZN, around South Africa as a whole. And then on top of that, I also want to work alongside with one of my sponsors where we will kind of have a start up workshop where we um, help future entrepreneurs start their businesses, put them through programs, and expose them to funding possibilities to start their businesses through that. So that is something that I want to work on. Wow, <laughs> you are a busy lady. <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, at, at the tender age of 20, and this yeah. is all that you're busy doing and your goals that you're working towards, especially with the education, I mean, that is a, a lacking sector in our country yeah. currently, and I mean, just reaching out to the matriculants yeah. and to implement those systems for them to follow and to show them what there is out there and to guide them and to hopefully what could be their future. Exactly, yes. That is absolutely so, you're so inspirational, <laughs> really, really, you. really are. And Siki, tell us something we don't know about you. <laughs> Have you got any hidden talents that we should all be aware of? Um, not necessarily a hidden talent. I do think it's something that's out there about me, but I just love all things to do with any form of creativity. I mean, I went to after with the aim of becoming a production designer, like to create sets like these, and then I got there and I fell in love with directing. I love art, I love drawing, I love makeup, everything to do with working with my hands, creating something to put out there, art that wow. speaks. Wow, so you really are talented. It's not only are we going to see you on the Miss South Africa stage, <laughs> we're going to see you in soap operas as well. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sure. a name yes. to remember. And if there's anything you could say to your followers and the public out there, just a, a concluding sentence, what, what, what advice would you give young girls that are looking out to, up to you currently? Well, I think one of my biggest things that I follow is to never limit yourself. If a dream comes to you, it comes to you for a reason. There is no such thing as impossible or too big for me or I'm too small for this. Just keep going. <laughs> Those are such beautiful words. And, and is there a way where we could follow you on the Miss Belito channel? Have you got a social platform? Do you yes. want to maybe just tell our viewers how they can follow you? Um, I've got my personal page, which is Akila broken up into the syllables by the full stops, a.qee.lah. Um, and then I've got my Miss Belito page, which is please well, Miss Belito finalist 2021. So yeah. Well, there you have it. Please follow her. Your support would be really appreciated. She's beautiful inside and out. And like I said, for the third time, definitely a name you want to remember. Thank you so much. You're stunning. And it was just so lovely so getting time. to meet you and to interview you. But I'm sure this is not the last that we're going to hear no. of Siki. After the break, we've got Orchid Fort Hita here with us from Kerway Projects. We'll see you soon.
welcome back to Good Morning North Coast. With me in studio, we've got Orchid Portgieter from Kerway Projects. Morning, Orchid. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here this morning. Great. Orchid, tell us a bit more about your business. When did it start? Where are you? Well, Kerway started, um, well, a while back actually, but it was started actually just as a sideline, um, being doing other work and stuff, permanent work and stuff. And uh, this year, in the middle of COVID, I decided I'll start my business officially so yeah um and um well we've been in the, i've been in the trade for for many years actually like i said i'm doing it on the sideline um mainly home renovations or improvements if some people would call it like that <laughs> um but mainly um also paint work i always say let's start with a good paint work you know and uh, i basically do my i actually the reason why i started on one side also is i love doing i love doing what i'm doing it's it's it's, it's actually a bit of a bit of a hobby that i've been doing so i would say if you want to do something and you want to do love something doing do your hobby on the end of the day and you do well in it so that's what we do, uh, what i try to do on the end of the day and um, also renovating people's homes is one of the most things you know from kitchens uh bathrooms um from tile tiles on the floor um to ceilings for you guys, ceilings. Um, we do indoor paintings, outdoor paintings is the most of the things that we do at the moment. Yeah. Wow, so you really are a one-stop shop. For yes, <laughs> um, you know, you, you always start with one thing and, um, but as you uh, progress in life, you start to say, hey, but I can also offer this to people, also offer this to people. Uh, don't limit yourself. I mean, the, the, yes, you have to focus on one thing, your business, but you don't have, in these days, you can't limit yourself. Um, there is some things, but I, as as Kerwe projects, also um, like to work with other uh, subcontractors and stuff like that. So there's always that part also where I bring into my company whenever I say, "Listen, yeah, for my clients specifically, listen, yeah, um, I can do this, but there's an expert maybe doing it better than I do it." So I also refer. Uh, uh, subcontractors to my, into my company and then we work from there on the end of the day. Yeah, that's brilliant because at the end of the day you get the best service for your client as yes, well. That, that is actually the whole thing, you know, um, because on the end of the day and it works like that. You're not going to always live in a house. No, in, in, in these days um, I'm, I'm coming up from a background where I used to be an agent and um, people sell their houses and whether you sell it or buy it, uh, you're never going to buy uh, the, the bad looking house. You're always going to go for the pretty one. Um, although it's, it's nice when people buy the bad ones because I can come and build them for them and <laughs> fix them on the end of the day, you know. So that is basically um, what we've tried to do. Yeah. Okay, and I'm sure now being locked down with everyone being at home, all the wives driving their husbands up the wall, seeing everything wrong with their houses, you must have your hands full. Well, yesterday I was actually walking around in, um, I was in Durban North area, and I was walking in the houses, handing out some flyers and stuff like that, and also just walking around and meeting some people. Um, and um, I realized that there's a lot of garages open and a lot of guys actually starting painting and stuff. And I was actually talking to some of the Oaks and I realized that, um, yeah, that's just sitting at home and doing nothing now. But I'm, I'm kind of, then we spoke to one of the guys and actually he said to me, oh, but um, he's actually making it worse. I said to him, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, I'm, I'm your solution to the problem. <laughs> yes, so. And then I know we're speaking about it off air, but um, the social media aspect of home renovations and improvements, you say it, it's all about managing expectations. Yes, that's correct. So, yeah, um, social media does have that influence in the, and you have to look, you have to let your property look good on every day. If it's, it's investment on every day and that is, that is what it's supposed to be. Um, some people just buy it just to, you know, it's another house, but it's not just another house. For you, it might be that, but it's, for someone else, it is, it's the house. No, exactly. And, and I think what makes your service extra special is that you've already had the, the agent side. You were in real estate. Now you're in home improvements. You know what it is what people are looking for. Yes, you know how to yes. upgrade and value a home. Mm -hmm. And then you also add an extra beneficial service that I'm sure not many people know about. Yes. Um, one of the things that we all, what I also like to offer, and normally I offer to managing pro, uh, agencies and stuff like that, is a, a rental inspection. I call it a rental inspection, but it's more a, a, a inspection for, for the property inside or outside for that matter to give the client that, that listen when you rent out your property to people um, there is a, a, a inspector that come and come and inspect your property once it is once a month or uh, once a year or twice a year or that type of thing even when people move in and move out in their properties I take photos of that uh, property 
And once a per person moves out, the property needs to be left the way it was on the end of the day. There's no back and forth and on the end of the day, there's a lawyer involved and all those type of things. And it's like, no, there's a picture, it speaks a thousand words. Well, <laughs> exactly, because I think, I think we can all vouch. We've all had problems moving yes, in no, and out definitely. of rentals. And, and this is basically what, we, uh, what I offer on the end of the day. I say, listen, yeah, let's do this and make sure that once that person leaves uh, your house, it leaves us a good, uh, a good conscience on everyone, if I can put it that way. <laughs> That's a good note to, to leave us on. Thank you so much, Orkut. We appreciate it for all your housing renovations and improvements. One stop shop, Kurway Properties. Thank you, Thank you very much. After the break, we'll be back with Fabian and Anjo with the food parcel drive that our restaurants are currently busy with. <laughs> In life, we all want to achieve something. The dreams we believe in, the goals we want to achieve, and the problems that we want to overcome. But what holds us back? I'm not a good wife. My children deserve a better mom. Maybe I should just end it all. I will never be enough. Negative thinking should not be taken seriously. All it means is that the negative feeling and thinking has become a toxic bad habit and it's the feeling that actually keeps you stuck. To live a happy life you need to realize that your feelings are simply an indication of your thinking. As your life coach I help you realize where your thinking is keeping you stuck. You already have everything that you need within you to live a happy life. Can my business survive the setback? How will I provide for my family? I feel so discouraged. Feeling discouraged simply means that you have discouraging thoughts and that makes you feel powerless and lose hope. This is never true. The only way out of a problem is to go inside of yourself and realize that you've simply got stuck in the feeling of that perceived problem. There's always a way out when you realize that it's really your thoughts that are creating your thinking. And that's what impacts the way that you live your life and the way that you act in your life. It really is an inside out solution. Feeling stressed about the past or anxious about the future means that you're never fully present in the moment. And you can only ever make change in the present moment, moment by moment by moment. Thank you, Sharon, for helping me understand how my mind really works. I'm so much more at peace knowing that nothing in my past has the power to stop me from being happy and fulfilled in my present life, no matter what my circumstances are. Remember that not everything you think is real, nor should it be taken seriously. Negative or sad thoughts are simply bad habits that have been hardwired into your brain over time. Recognize that negative feelings are simply an indication that you are having negative thoughts. 
If you get into the habit of noticing that, your life will change dramatically and everything will feel better. And when you feel better, you do better. That's called having a positive mindset. I'm Sharon Castle, and I can help you start your journey today. to the Good Morning North Coast Morning Show. With me in studio, we've got Fabian from Fiamma Grill. We've got Andre from Tassos. Welcome, gents. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah. No, thank you for being here. Sure. Well, it's so nice to be with both of you. Probably two of the most popular restaurants and vibiest places to be in town. With our newly adjusted level four restrictions, it has obviously not been too kind on business. And you guys have come up with an amazing initiative. Would you like to tell us more about it? Good. If I may go first, um, Basically, we, we anticipated something like this going on regarding the alcohol and the restrictions, but we needed to also place our staff in good light. And them being sitting at home, what could we do as an, an, a small industry or as a community? And we came up with this parcel drive and collection. And um, one, it's a monetary collection, but also if you're going to be donating food or parcels or clothing, we will still receive a majority of that as well. Sure, that's absolutely, absolutely amazing. You, you, and one can't really actually understand and comprehend the effect that this has on, on obviously, on our local restaurants. And just a small little contribution, I think, of 350 Rand Correct. spreads amongst 35 restaurants. Am 100%, I, I you're spot on with that. And, you know, Andre can speak a bit more about the ripple effect and if you'd like to carry on. You know, if you have a look at the restauranteurs that are in Belito, you know, we're very new here. We're not even a year. And... Um, in a very short period of time, you know, especially on the first lockdown, we learned a lot of what the impact is of the restauranteering in this community because it's so small and the people that are here, I mean, the workforce that is here, they stay here. And the minute there's somebody that loses a job, it's not very easy to find a job again. And now with this lockdown, um, they can't do, go do gardening or something like that. Um, and we're looking at close to 450, maybe it's growing by the day. We're looking at maybe at 500 people at this stage that's not earning a salary. Now, for every person that's not earning a salary, he's looking after about four people. So you're looking at two and a half thousand people that are left, left destitute. And we need, you know, the community to grab you. Now, these are the people that are serving you every day in the restaurants as well. Exactly. These are the guys that work long hours. I mean, some of them up to 16 hours a day um, on their feet. You know, to earn a living. So, you know, we've got people like Spa that came up and said, if you want to give a donation, not a only on monetary, but we've got a bank account where the, that's audited, where money can be paid into, but at Spa, they're making trolleys available. So if you're buying something, buy something extra, just put it into the trolley. There's banners that show where people can buy something, anything. I mean, tin food, um, rice, milli meal. So, you know, there's a whole list of stuff that we'll publicize very shortly. And um, get them with people like uh, uh, Fiamma that's very known in the community and people like us that's new and very unknown. But you know what, we drive this thing and we look after our people. We're very passionate about that. Oh, most definitely. And, and just to get back to the spa, which spa is it where we can go and It's our little Belito spa in the village. Um, Ed has been extremely kind. We've also had some um, anonymous donations, like 100 parcels being donated. Um, Marco from La Piazza has been instrumental. Carl from Salt Rock has reached out to some media personalities, uh, Salt Rock Coffee that is. Um, Brett from Mozambique as well, he's always in the mix helping people. So, I mean, I could single out every single restaurant doing their small bit. Um, some key role players, some old guys, some new guys, but for, for me it's also about, it's about the public. And we've now shared that amongst like our Sambiti groups. We've shared it about amongst our golf groups. And if we could just keep that travel going, um, we tend to or will see um, a light at the end of the tunnel. No, exactly. I mean, there's only so much you can implement and the rest is up to us as the public. I mean, you. if you think about Belito, you think about the vibe and the restaurants, that, that is a little town at the end of the day. And as you were saying, Andre, I mean, there is no other actual work opportunities here but the restaurant industry. So 
Guys, for a small little donation, if you can donate monetary-wise, 350 Rand gets spread across all these restaurants. What they then do is they buy food parcels for their staff members. So instead of them actually earning an income, they're at least getting, getting fed, and, and those food parcels get taken home. Like Andre said, there are 2,000 plus people actually dependent on us. Um, what is 350 Rand versus an evening out at one of these restaurants, which we would have spent in any way at the end of the day? Well, a quick visit to the spa. If you go have a look, you buy bread, milk, and a few little uh, cold meats and stuff. You're looking at 300, 400 Rand that you're going to buy there anyway. You don't even realize it. But the minute you ask for somebody, just give us a donation of 350 Rand, then it's a bit of a shock. But you know what? That 350 goes so far. People, and, you have no idea. And um, you're obviously not spending it on alcohol at the moment, so... There is there a small initiative so to there's spend it in the no life, excuse for them Okay, not bring to. your deposit slip <laughs> next time when this lockdown is over. Your first beer is on me. All right? There you go. Bring your slip and I'll give you a free beer. I, I, will, I, will, I will commit to that as well. <laughs> the, the, what a commitment. <laughs> you know, there the we go. Let's hope the other restaurants okay. jump on board there as well. Are we going to set a challenge I'm out there? I'm challenging all the restauranteurs now. There you go. A challenge out there to all the restauranteurs. Bring the slip showing their donation and you get a free Free beer on the house. 100%. When there we you go, up. guys. No excuses. I like that challenge. I hope to see them all jumping on on social media. Oh, thank you guys so much for coming through to see us today. And really, Belito, let's stand behind these restaurants. Let's make an impact. And um, we are here to support them. And let's stand behind them. Without them, we can't social. We can't have a good time. And our town is not the same. Thanks, thank Belito, you so Gigi. much. We thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, we love it. We thank love you. it. Thanks, Belito. Thank you. Thank you. Up next is Hayley with our weather and surf update. Good morning everyone and welcome to your weather for today. Like my drastic outfit changes, we have drastic weather changes in just one day. With a high of 23 degrees, a low of 13 degrees. The real feel will be 22 degrees and the real feel shade 20 degrees. We have a northeasterly wind of 19 kilometers per hour and wind gusts of 33 kilometers per hour. So girls, I hope you're not wearing any dresses or skirts today. We have a 0% chance of showers today. The sun will rise at 6.51 a.m. and the sunset will be at 5.09 p.m. Next up will be your surf report brought to you by Dion Bosman from Victory Surf. Have a good day. Good morning, Belito, and welcome to Tuesday morning's beach report. And if you're not out there already, you really need to get out of bed and get in the surf. It's going to be cooking until about 11 o'clock this morning. Some really, really good banks at the bog and at Main Beach and very, very good surf with the incoming tide. It is going to turn, however, to a big onshore by lunchtime. So all the kite boarders and the wing surfers are getting ready to hit the waves at Tiffany's and uh, have a great afternoon session. Very strong 20 to 25 knot northeasties are expected. So. If you're a surfer and a bodyboarder and a stand-up paddleboarder, get in the water now. It's really, really good and get going. You've got about two, three hours before the onshore comes up and then it's all over. So uh, have a great morning on the East Coast. See you guys in the water. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us today on your Good Morning North Coast show. Today was jam-packed, full of fun, and the energy in the studio was definitely very vibrant. We just want to say thank you so much to all of our sponsors, and thank you to everyone for coming in studio with us today. Be safe, social distance, and please don't forget to support locals, support your restaurants, and please support our food parcel drive. And you heard what Fabian and Andre said. There's a challenge out there to all the restaurant owners. Show us proof of receipt that you've donated, and there is a free beer out there waiting for you as soon as these restrictions are over. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Coming up next is our musical showcase, Rowan Stewart. Have a good day. Goodbye. the seeds of the sacred rhythm the universe drumming in our hearts forget the maps and the charts just listen to the sacred rhythm and you'll never be lost let's drive to the mountains let's wait in the stream get lost in a forest see places unseen 
Our hearts are a drum line Let's follow their lead Turn the world down Listen to me Let's lay under starlight Let's gaze at the stars A map of forever How tiny we are Remember this moment When living gets hard Turn the world down Listen to me Rhythm and you'll never be lost Cause we are the seeds of the 